guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm starting a new cleaning series on my channel and um, last year I did zone cleaning which is pretty much the same thing now but I am using the cleaning cart system uh, which is similar to zone cleaning. I'm just writing everything out and using cards for it. It is a system that a bowl full of lemon uses. If you have not checked her out, make sure you go to her Instagram and her blog. She, I love, love, love her um, uh, profile on Instagram. She's great. She posts a lot of uh, cleaning stories, uh, wellness stories, cooking stories, ton of stuff. So make sure you check her out. I'll leave a link down below. So let me show you my, my card system that I've set up. So for the first, uh, for today, I will be cleaning my front room. So week one is my front um, front room so my front hallway my front room closet my mudroom closet and my powder room uh, those are all in the front so i just put out what i need to do for that and it should take me approximately 15 minutes to work on my front hallway so on uh, today's tuesday i should have started yesterday but yesterday was a holiday so i am starting today so i'm starting with the front room so I will be posting these videos maybe once or twice a month and just to kind of show you how I maintain my house after I've spring cleaned it. Um, this is not deep cleaning. I still do my deep cleaning on Thursdays and Fridays. This is simply little things that I do so uh, my house stays clean all the time. I'm coming new with apologies history Today is Wednesday and I am working on a coat closet and here is the card for that.
Thursday now and it's day three and I will be working on the mudroom just so you see and I am going to clean out this closet because it has gotten very messy I'm not gonna show you the process I'm just gonna show you the before and then after because I have two other videos where I clean this out that you can watch so here is the before and here is the after so here it is, all done. Majority of mess was with onions and potatoes. Ugh, finding a rotten potato sure doesn't smell good. So I have room here for paper towel. I'm just all out. Um, there's extra kitchen utensils that I might use on occasion during the week, but not on regular daily basis my small appliances that i use on regular basis that don't fit in a kitchen um so the so i have a pasta maker waffle maker spiralizer all the grilling supplies and then i have my KitchenAid food processor and there's food processor supplies back there i have a little tool that cuts french fries and all of these are just extra like extra oils that i don't use on regular basis extra ketchup because I bought it because it was on sale and then peanut butter and then there's extra like rice flours just things that I don't I use but I don't use it on every day so I don't have to um, keep it in my pantry in the kitchen then I have just a can of beans here some of this uh, these paste red curry paste yellow curry paste and green curry paste and just a couple seasonings there my blender i have a ninja that i use for smoothies so i don't use uh, my blender for smoothies my mixer there is a spice grinder my instant pot and here is room for my slow cooker and my uh, sandwich press they're all in my kitchen right now i have a crepe pan here and then i have my food wrap here garlic usually I buy garlic at season and I'll buy like 50 um, I don't even know how many pounds of it but this is full usually in September and it lasts me all year and I like buying because it's local garlic and then onions and then potatoes and this thing is from Ikea and then over here I just have some strainers Planners. and then here I keep a extension cord because my the way my kitchen set up I need it if I'm using these big uh, appliances and then my apron which I'd like to say I use but I always forget to use and I had it in the kitchen and I never reached for it so I just put it here now and now I, I am off to cleaning up this mess so this is all the stuff that needs to go downstairs from the pantry and then that's garbage that was in the pantry that I do I just have to clean that light uh, clean the baseboards and 
dust and organized under here but usually this stuff is stays the same pretty much there's not much to do so this is a very complicated room to stick the camera so bear with me I'm going to hold the camera while I do this for cleaning um, I'm just gonna use one product it's the Norwex Mitten and then I made a solution with water vinegar and essential oil and I'm just gonna spray it down and so I'm not cleaning the bathroom I am just cleaning the um, zone stuff Here is the front room all cleaned up. The carpet is wet because I had washed it. I also took this out because I didn't wash the top of it, but I washed the back of it. Yesterday was uh, quite the rainy day, so I ended up putting it over the fence and the rain washed the plastic on the back. I also washed these just with the hose. This room needs some refreshing of paint and just few things, so I have to do that, just finding time to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're brand new to my channel, would love for you to press that subscribe button and notification button so you don't miss out any of the new videos that I post. Until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day.